Today is Earth Day, and while we're celebrating today, there's an even bigger celebration going on tomorrow. Sharon Smith is going to tell us all about that. This has been going on for a long time, hasn't it? Yes, this is our 15th year of the Nashville Earth Day Festival, and this year the festival is brought to us by Piedmont. But we're going to be out here tomorrow, not only celebrating Earth Day, but providing educational opportunities to people. People can learn about solar energy, they can learn about water conservation, they can learn about recycling and all that while enjoying food from some local food trucks, listening to live music and having some locally brewed beer. This is a fun event for the whole family and families do come out and enjoy all kinds of festivities. They do. There's children's activities. We have, uh, for the second year in a row, a reuse village where people can come and learn. You know, the most important thing about waste is not just recycling it, but trying to reduce reuse first. So we'll have that going on. And then um, April 23rd is also our first annual Mayor Berry Spring Clean. So people all over the city are going to be engaging in cleaning up their neighborhood, keeping Nashville beautiful, and then coming out in the afternoon to celebrate Earth Day. What do we need to know about being greener in our own lives, not just today and tomorrow, but throughout the year? That's a great question because, you know, the sustainable activities need to be more than just one day. So the things that we need to keep in mind is, as we look around our home and our business is what can we do that's going to conserve energy, you know, turning the lights off just like our mother told us, you know, um, turning the lights off, making sure you don't have any uh, water leaks around your home, looking for ways to reduce what you throw out, and even more important than that, to buy items that produce less waste. So a lot of times when people think about, oh, we need to recycle, the thing that's even more important than recycling is trying to buy better trash. So you buy stuff that actually doesn't cause any waste in the end. And we're going to have some uh, folks out here talking about composting. We're really wanting people to look at uh, composting in their backyard when they can, because food waste is a great thing to benefit your garden. And if you can compost in your backyard and uh, Metro uh, Public Works sells backyard compost containers uh, every day. We would like people to look at ways they can divert food from landfills. And so many of these practices not only are good for the earth, but they also can help you save money as well. Absolutely. When you think about what uh, the city spends on uh, landfilling our waste, everything that we can divert and recycle saves money. And when you turn off your electricity, when you make sure you don't have any water leaks, uh, if you plant a tree to provide shade over your home, you're going to reduce your electric bill costs. All of that is good and it saves money. All right, so the Nashville Earth Day celebration is a great thing that we can all learn from and teach our children as well. Give us all the particulars so folks will know where to come and what to do. Yes, so the Nashville Earth Day Festival is at Centennial Park. April 23rd. It'll start at 11 a.m. and it will go to 6 p.m. There's plenty of parking around, but if you want to get more information about the festival, people can go online to NashvilleEarthDay.org. All right, Sharon, thanks so much for telling us about it and happy Earth Day to you. Thank you. All right, again, we'll put that information on our website at NewsChannel5.com or you can just go directly to NashvilleEarthDay.org.